Host commentator, host commentator, well that was another masterclass. The champions elect completely outplayed the champions in every respect. Guardiola's side are worthy winners but in truth Chelsea contributed very little to this game. The game has been sliding away from Chelsea from the moment they conceded. Now time is against them and Conte side still aren't really forcing the issue. David Silva, man of the match, is applauded off. He's loved at the Etihad and has pulled the strings to what looks like another three points. Danilo comes on for Zinchenko to freshen things up at the back. Chelsea are running out of time for an equalizer and in truth it wouldn't be deserved but where there's life there's hope for the Blues. Aguero looks at the ground. He's disappointed not to score. The first home game he's not scored in an eight. Jesus. Returning to full fitness makes his way onto the pitch. Ten minutes to play and there are finally signs of life from the champions. Giroud is on and Emerson too. A roll of the dice and it's about time. They force a corner but the delivery is dreadful. Gary Neville branded Chelsea's display so far as unacceptable. They might only be a goal down but the intent just isn't there. The Blues haven't even had a shot on target and almost concede another after Sane's ball flashes across the face of goal. With nobody on the end of it, 72 minutes, there's not much urgency from the visitors to grab an equalizer but Manchester City aren't hugely bothered with attacking either. They're so comfortable and poised on the ball that they're happy for the clock to do their work for them. 67 minutes, finally a bit of excitement. First Chelsea counter and have a 4 on 4 but Williams cross is blocked. Then City counter and flood forward in search of the goal to put it to bed but Aguero is shown down a blind ally and De Bruyne. Then Blaze is over, 63 minutes, the Premier League champions have resorted to hoofs upfield to jeers from both sets of fans. City are looking so comfortable despite recent exertions against Arsenal and there's no urgency to the play. Very little is going on and hardly any energy expended. It's so passive and Chelsea aren't out of the contest by any stretch. Michael Oliver gives Antonio Rudiger a yellow card. And says it's his fourth foul of the game before brandishing the caution. 54 minutes, Victor Moses is free on the right inside the box with only Ederson to beat on the angle. He has the option to square it to Alonso at the back post but tries to blast one past Ederson. Slicing badly wide, 51 minutes, a blistering start to this half and now Guardiola's side can knock it about with some more comfort. It felt like the Blues risked a goal like that if they continued in the same vein as the first period and City will relish it if Conti's men want to open things up. Chelsea are caught cold. Aguero feeds David Silva on the overlap and Silva's cross is met by his namesake at the back post. Conti will be furious but that goal should completely change the flow of this match with the visitors forced to come out of their shell. Well, it's not what you would call a classic. Chelsea have set their stall out and it has worked so far. It's a shame to witness such a dull game with so much attacking talent on display. But Antonio Conti will think it's justified if he can grind out a point or even snatch a win. A city goal would certainly change the flow of this game though. There's only one team playing the football out there but Conti will be content at the scoreline. Surely the Blues can't be as negative in the second 45 minutes. 43 minutes, De Bruyne slips a quick free kick down the right and Aguero just strays offside. He can't get it on target but Otamendi stuck at home. The striker didn't need to go early then and he knows it. 36 minutes without Morata or Giroud up front. Hazard is plowing the lonely furrow and has hardly had a kick. Conti's men just aren't playing when they get the ball and the Belgian is looking frustrated up there. 32 minutes, that's Zinchenko. Challenge has up the temperature of this and the crowd are fully involved. Both sets of players are fully committed and there's a bit of bite to the tackles now flying in. Still City in the ascendancy but they haven't created a clear-cut chance yet. 25 minutes, brilliant positioning and instinct from the Chelsea defender to stop a certain goal. Sane latches onto De Bruyne's free kick at the back post, cuts inside and blasts a shot goalwards. It seems destined for the far corner but as Piliqueta is in the perfect spot to keep it out. Strange game this so far. Chelsea are not only set up negatively by Antonio Conte but are also playing with not a hint of drive or determination.
When you think back to how energetic they were in winning the title last season, Chelsea's decline is quite clear. Having said that, we have played almost 20 minutes and City Haven created a clear chance yet. A yellow card for Zinchenko for a full-blooded lunge on Moses. It's not a good tackle at all and the youngster will have to be careful on that left-hand side now. 20 minutes, absolutely brilliant play as Saint melts defenders away. Coaxing the ball past three players before finding Aguero, the Argentine slips it to Bernardo Silva who almost replicates his goal against Arsenal. Digging out a short with a short back lift and whipping his effort narrowly over the top, 16 minutes Chelsea are extremely compact and well organized but you feel they have to find a way to muster something in attack themselves. De Bruyne curls one towards Sane and the German stretches out for a half volley only to see his effort fly high over the crossbar. 11 minutes, City force a corner at the end of a brilliant move. Chelsea players can't get close as Silva, Sane, De Bruyne and Aguero are all involved. It's the Spaniard fed down the left who picks out Sane in the middle but the youngster's effort is well blocked. Guardiola's men are in absolute control so far. 7 minutes, Conti's side can't escape their own half at the moment. City press high and pop the ball about so comfortably. You feel the Blues have to offer something in attack but it's still early days. David Silva has been busy in the opening. Three minutes, the hosts are into their stride immediately, knocking it about on the velvety at a head surface. Chelsea remaining their blocks and clear for a corner when De Bruyne attempts to feed in a dangerous through ball. Chelsea go with practically the same lineup minus the ailing N'Golo Kanti that drew with Barcelona in the Champions League. With a smaller, more mobile forward line and Alvaro Morata and Olivier Giroud on the bench. The similarities between Chelsea's two opponents are obvious. And Antonio Conte clearly believes this is the best way to take on a Pep Guardiola side. 3. Chelsea have won their last three away league games against sides starting that day top of the table. Most recently 3-1 at Man City in December 2016. Repetition. Pick.twitter.com slash gawrlcgw8 Can we add to this collection of beauties today? Sadiq pick.twitter.com slash zphpxcskc7 The Chelsea boss shared his thoughts on the tragic news that a story died in his sleep last night. This is a tragedy. It's very difficult, at this moment, to find the right words for the family. I head him with the national team, Chelsea 11 to face Man City, Courtois, Azpilicueta, Christensen, Rudiger, Moses, Fabregas, Drinkwater, Alonso, William Hazard, Pedro Man City 11 to face Chelsea, Ederson, Walker, Laporte, Otamendi, Zinchenko, Gundogan, Bernardo, Sane, Silva, De Bruyne, Aguero afternoon and welcome to live coverage of Manchester City's Premier League clash with Chelsea. We'll have up to the minute coverage as Pep Guardiola's side look to build on their lead at the top of the Premier League table. The Premier League champions visit the champions elect in Sunday's huge showpiece game between Manchester City and Chelsea. Antonio Conte will be looking prove his tactical credentials once again. Having been praised by Pep Guardiola for his strategic news this week. City are running away with the league and could be set for a record points total but the Blues would dearly love to upset the apple cart and boost their own top four aspirations. Follow all the build-up and live action with Sportsmail throughout the afternoon.